certainly there were so many societal pressures, family pressures, um, everything around me telling me not to be myself. That's how where we were at that moment in time. 2002, I'm doing an in-depth um, interview for New York Time Out magazine. And at the end, he calls me up. He goes, oh, my editor's really pressuring me. I have to ask you this question. Are you gay? Um, and I was like, yes. And I have to tell you, part of me it felt such it was like an exciting moment, like a liberating moment. I know that we lived in a repressed um, culture. Um, as women athletes that you're trying to be accepted that you just want to play sports now throw in the other lesbian part that society didn't really like they didn't really like girls playing sports the aggressiveness of it and that oddly enough is where we were at in sports and in and, and, and a professional league it did eventually change and I think in a very beautiful way an organic way I did not expect all of the letters from people how it helped them. Um, I'm going to cry because <laughs> I certainly got letters from people that lost a sibling or, <sighs> or lost somebody because they were gay. What has changed? Does it, the atmosphere here sometimes in America feel a little dangerous? What's changed is society, the culture has changed. It's inside of our culture now. It's in conversations you have with your neighbors and your friends and they treat you as a human that has emotions and feelings. If I had any advice to give, it probably transcends sexuality, um, transcends politics, it transcends all those things. It's, there's a humanness in all of us. And the first place you have to be human is with yourself.